chicken pot pie. On to the drink. Go. Whoa. Nope. For this drink, you'll need a highball full of ice and a shaker full of ice. First of all, add one and a half ounces of amaretto liqueur. So loud. One half ounce of whiskey or bourbon. You can use whatever. I didn't have to leave the house to get whiskey, so. One ounce of lemon juice. One teaspoon of lemon simple syrup. Give these a slow, gentle shake so as not to jostle yourself. Pour this into your glass. And garnish with a maraschino cherry. I think I choked on the stem of one of these last night. And a slice of candied lemon peel. Bottoms up. Ooh, yeah, mm, that'll make my life a lot better. So first things first, preheat your oven 325 degrees. Sorry, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. <sighs> Alright, so this pie is super straightforward and easy, which is the only reason I am on my feet and doing it right now. Start with about two cups of shredded cooked chicken. What's wrong? You feeling saucy? Uh, all I can think of right now is that song, Love Goes Wrong, Nothing Goes Right. For love to go wrong, it has to be there to begin with. <clears throat> But the nothing goes right thing is really ringing a bell. Mm -hmm. When it rains, it pours. I can't get the lid to come off this, so fuck it. Add a 16 ounce jar of tomato sauce. Also, add 16 ounces of ricotta cheese, three generous tablespoons of pesto, or four, whatever. The cool thing about this pie is you can really play any and or all of the ingredients by ear. Just add what you think might taste good in whatever amount you feel necessary. Add one cup of grated Parmesan cheese and like eight or whatever ounces of shredded mozzarella. This is great hangover food. It's basically just cheese pie with some chicken, which is exactly what I need right now. Don't know about you. I'm also adding some of the broth from the chicken because it's here and why not? Mix this all together like so. God, this smells amazing. So once all of your ingredients are combined, set this aside, get your pie dish. That dog's a real bitch, but uh, she's barking a lot less right now. For this pie, I am using crescent rolls instead of pie crust because A, I am lazy, and B, they are delicious, but also terrifying to open. This has got to be like the most stressful thing. <gasps> I hate this, and I love it. I love and hate it. Start by sealing up the perforations in the pastry. This is not going to be perfect, but <laughs> fuck it, what is? Use this to line your... Pie dish. You ready? This is kind of a patchwork quilt in terms of pastry crust, but I don't care today. I really don't. Although, I am putting my stamp of approval on these amaretto sours as a solid hangover treatment. Okay, so once you have your bottom crust done, just add your chicken mixture. Oh boy. Oof. That is some stick to your ribs shit. Rainy hangover days are the best. Built an excuse to just stay inside, eat crappy food, and watch Netflix, and not deal with terrible humans. Ah! Oh my god, cat, it's not happening. No, no. Ah! Tuck and trim. Be aware that this pastry will rise. 
cheese in the oven. Last of all, slice into the pit top crust just to vent the pie and brush the top with some melted butter. And I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little granulated garlic on top. So here you have your super quick, super easy, super simple Italian chicken pot pie is ready for the oven. Stick it in at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. But the reason that I love Italian food is because they have perfected the art of garlic and cheese. I am into it. And one thing that you'll never have to worry about in Italy is vampires. Because everyone knows they're super lactose intolerant. Way to butt in on the joke pie. Oh, but it looks so good. So here we have our Italian chicken pot pie and our amaretto sour. I'll let this cool down for quite some time. Drink, but probably you shouldn't drink as much as I did last night. Just for safety's sake. Then dig in to this pie, because this is the best drunk food you will ever have. With my own.